jo uh, Elizabeth Wamwea. She is a healthcare business development specialist joining us today. Karibu sana Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Ron. How how are you feeling? Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, uh, it's a great way to start the month. Mm -hmm. And I think they say, Sikunjema huonekana asubui. So uh, definitely the month looks like it will be good. Thank <laughs> and you. of course, happy Madaraka <laughs> Day. Yes, yes. Yeah, the first of June. Yes. Um, when we talk about Madaraka Day, uh, tell, tell us what, what comes into your mind, you know. Um, uh, or what are you celebrating today? Uh, for Kenya, this is uh, it's big. Apart from many resting today, mm -hmm. it's a lot of uh, taking stock of how it has been the last few years, yeah, the struggles yeah. that Kenyans have gone through. Mm -hmm. And when you look at so much that has happened, the development amidst a lot that has uh, maybe has been a hindrance, mm. I must say that Kenya, we have taken a great, great stride in terms mm. of getting to where we are. Mm -hmm. Even as we now prepare to the transition uh, in the next general elections, yeah, yeah. we can only pray that um, we continue to make our country bigger and better. And, 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 and now that we're talking about the strength of a woman, yes. um, do you think we are uh, at a better place when it comes to celebrating women? I must say, Ram, we've come such a long way. Yeah. And uh, maybe before, uh, many would see that it was a form of uh, negative feminists. Mm -hmm. But we can, it's so exciting to see that now men are actually on the forefront mm. of not only um, identifying us women in particular positions, mm. but they also actually support. Yeah, I must say yeah, that yeah. I've also seen that also some of them will actually, when they realize you have a potential, they'll get you out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. and actually walk the journey with you. So mm -hmm. I must also mm -hmm. applaud the men because something good is actually something happening. Good is, is, is so happening. you can imagine if we can start that off from our young sons mm. who are mm. in school just to be able to appreciate each other mm -hmm. and for it also to get together have a balance we'll be able to bring up make sure that the boy child is well catered for mm. so that at the end of the day we don't have one of those things that we are facing where the women are much em empowered yes but, uh, but that's still that's a whole debate of I its know, own uh, who is more empowered who is not empowered True. but uh, one thing is women have come up Yes, and, 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 and they're taking up positions. Yes. And uh, even as you celebrate this day, we also celebrate women. And yes. of course, I, I, I want to know a bit more about what you do yes. um, as, as, uh, as, as, as a person for yes. somebody who is meeting you for the very first time today. Okay. Yeah. So yes, I'm Elizabeth Mamwe. Mm -hmm. And uh, the biggest title I have is being a mother. I'm a mother to three amazing children. Three. Three. I love how you introduced <laughs> the first one. <laughs> You you, you, you you use great you see grades I, no. yes index one index <laughs> <laughs> she, so uh, the, the son is here supporting women yes huh? absolutely I, it I, was I, I, I love that passion I love that passion <laughs> in fact when I told him about it and he told me mom mm. I am joining you tomorrow morning <laughs> so that becomes my number one supporter uh -huh. an amazing gentleman he's called Lokwaliwa Loriu Lolel mm-hmm Ngoja ten Ngoja Aya Let's rewind, rewind. that. Rewind. Mi na kumkele, you know, the tip. Yes. Yeah, let's take a biro. Let's uh -huh. tuzungusha kidogo. Yes. Anaitua? Lok waliwa. Lok waliwa. Lok waliwa? Lok waliwa. Uh-huh. And then, loriu. Loriu. Then, lolel. Lolel. Yes. Lok wari lolel. Lok wari lolel. Lok wari wa loliu lolel. Now for you, uh. just call him Loksi. We have a names for everyone. You are, <laughs> <laughs> you are a special person. You are special. You know, I, I love how women get get to uh, uh, feel some inspiration from their kids. Yes. You know, these are also, also uh, 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 children inspire a woman. Yes. Is that true? A lot. A lot. A uh. lot. Um, we said he's index one. Then there's my daughter, Lokuchal. Uh -huh. Don't worry, we'll write down those names later. Yeah. And my last born son, who's uh, 12, his name is Wamoya. And wow, I must say, wow. apart from God who gives me the daily strength, mm -hmm. my children form a very big backbone in my day-to-day -day, uh, day -day life. Mm. Why? They also have become, can I say, much stronger than I am. Mm. And uh, you can see how articulate they are in terms of explaining or anything. Or mm -hmm. even having a conversation. Mm -hmm. So where does that leave me? Mm -hmm. I have to be somewhere up there so that I can be able to try and discern what mm. these conversations are and how to respond to them. Wow, wow. Yes. So you have index one, index two, and index, index three. three. Yes. Wow. <laughs> 
that that is new that is i've i've, I've not had uh, i've not met a lady who 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 um uh really appreciates their kids in, in that kind of a manner index one is it so does it mean you're more um inclined towards education for your kids as to why you use the word index you, i think you've just read my mind so well uh -huh. One thing, uh, what the biggest basis that first of all I give them is Christianity. Mm -hmm. They have to be aligned at least to God, mm -hmm. and they have to know there's a supreme being that is. They are who yeah. they are because of of God. Mm -hmm. So we and they must honor that. They must honor on that, and I really thank God for that. Father, they are. Mm. They are the type of people who will go somewhere and they'll still pray even when. Wow. Mom is not there. Because right? because mom <laughs> showed them the way. Yes, it's mom and mm -hmm. also dad who also played a very big role in the, on the same. This so, woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not just mom, but also dad. Yes. I see a lot of wisdom in you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, continue. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, apart from that education, mm. um, for sure, I thank God for his provision. And um, the index one you're talking about has just finished his form four, did very well. Mm. And he's actually joining one of the universities in Kenya to wow. pursue computer science and cyber networking. Yes. <laughs> Index one of Kwabi. He's, 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 right he's, he's right in the house. He's right in the house. Computer science and cyber networking. Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. How, how does it feel, you know, to, to, to have raised three beautiful children yes. and 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 they're doing well yes. and, and and of course we know motherhood isn't easy yes wow ram you know we all look at the tip of the iceberg mm. but you don't know the work that is down there yeah and looking at also the nature of my work maybe mm. i'll be able to go back and uh, professionally i'm actually a nurse by profession mm -hmm. so meaning all my close to 15 years mm -hmm. it's been a lot of uh, service to humanity Mm -hmm. in the hospitals, mm -hmm. with the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of service also to family because also my children, um, they, they all had a gap of about three, three years. So there's a part where all of them were under fives. Ah, <laughs> all of them. There's a part where they were all under fives and you, your head was spinning and the next thing you, you're trying to remember is today Monday or is it Tuesday? I might be at work, <laughs> right? Because here and, you and, and, and balancing was a and problem. Balancing, I can tell you for a fact, is not easy. And I, I actually always have this picture one time, index one, uh -huh. was somewhere hanging here. Wow. Or the neck. Uh -huh. My daughter Lokuchal was somewhere there tagging, uh -huh. and the little one was, was was actually breastfeeding. I've never forgotten, and I had an orange dress. There's a there's a photo. It is here. I, it has never gone away. Mm -hmm. And this is because th these are those some of those instances where maybe um it's it's been tough. Babies getting sick, right? Yeah. You have to coordinate school. You have to coordinate school activities. You have to be the loudest parent as they have their sports so that they can know you're there. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be that, that mama that is always standing next yeah, to the field, you know, cheering your yeah. kids up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. go, go, go. That parent who even the, the children will be asked like, did your mother come today? Uh, That's what we always want to do and we want to be, right? They, so, they, they don't sometimes say, hey, mom, you're making too much noise. You're mm -hmm. embarrassing me. In fact, I remember one time my daughter said, you know, mom, the day you decide to keep quiet, it's going to be abnormal. It's either you're sick, but we are good to go with the mom that you are. are so like, I guess they are, they are like, we have no other choice. <laughs> so you, you, you've been their support battalion. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have worked. We have worked all the milestones together in good times. And so even when I see them transitioning, mm. I can tell you something, Ram. This mm. year is so sentimental for me because Why? in the month of March, mm. of course, because of the calendar of events for schools, mm. I had two candidates. Here he is in Form 4. Here is a daughter in, cl in Class 8. Here I am in a Loki job. Char is in Loki class Char is in Class 8. Class eight. eight. Now she's joined Form 1. Trasin, she transitioned to Form they 1. They were, wow. Two candidates. And here you are at the helm of a very heavy assignment work. And I remember uh, four months back before the exams, I was just thinking, my God, I, how, how do we do this? Because and, you know, and of course, the, the school fees had increased. Yes. It, the school fees has increased. But above all, there's something very interesting, Ram, mm. that over and above what you give your child physically, mm. there's one thing that they want. They want to have you as the mother, mm. to be present, 
to be there to listen mm -hmm. not to judge but have a conversation <laughs> so here you are people are about to do exams everyone has got various um it's a, it's it's, it's a, the mood is a lot of anxiety I remember I'd go to, uh, to the, my daughter's boarding school once a week. I'd mm. make sure I do a call to my son's teacher once a week just to make sure that we are good to go. Mm -hmm. And of course, not to forget praying. And I really have a large support system that have really prayed with us and prayed for us. So mm -hmm. I think for me, by the time now, here they are, bam, they've done their exams. Okay, then you're like, thank you, Lord. So there's the bit where you have to make sure that even as they finish, you have to be there to go and receive them. Yes. And this is amidst a lot of things. And, 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 and were they coming out of school at this, uh, on the same day? No. My daughter left like a month before and uh -huh. then my son after one month. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. KCPE finishes. Okay, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, so there's that beat and you go, yes, you're happy. Yay, exams are out. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing we're being told like in two weeks you have results. Results. <laughs> <laughs> And it goes on and on, managing expectations and reminding them consistently that, you know what, your grades, your marks are not what will define and make you a lesser child. Now, there's something that, <laughs> that I really want to know from you as yes, a mother. Yes. Because always, yes. we always talk about candidates being the ones who fear, yes. uh, 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 you know, that point in time when, when the results are, are being released. Yes. There's this fear that, that is in every candidate. Yes. How is it going to be? Yes. You know, th their hearts are beating. Yes. Nobody ever asks about the mother during this time when the results are being released. Because I have seen yes. the time when a mother is uh, going to hospital yes. and I'm a baby mtoto and the doctor is putting an injection on the, on the child. Yes. It is a mother that Yes, screenshots. <laughs> and, and yet, uh, it, yeah. it is a child that is getting an injection. Yes. Is that the same, metaphorically speaking, in, in, in the part of education? Let me tell you, Ram, I was actually shared with a few friends. I told them it's like an exaggerated form of labor. It's like you go back to labor pains again. Because wow. here you are, you have to look that mom who is like, guys, I have your back, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Irrespective of what you get, that's not what will define you. Then deep down you're saying, okay, God, now give me that strength to know how we're going to manage various <laughs> expectations, right? And, and your heart is beating Yes, there. it is. How did it feel? The results are now out. The results are out and then starts off with my daughter. Mm. And uh, I must say it was a journey also for her. And then boom. She exceeds expectations. She was even shocked on her, her own behalf. <laughs> <laughs> she was shocked on her own behalf. Yes, she was. And we were, I was also like, whoa. So, wow. you know, first of all, you go into a daze. Mm. Then, after a month, the big man, in fact, where was that? It was a, it was a Saturday. I had gone for a function. Mm. And then he calls me and says, Mom, mm. it's live. They are giving the results it's today. Us. I told him, it's okay. Be at peace. God is in control. I'm saying that, but deep down, I'm like, wow, okay, God, I've just yeah. given a form of affirmation that everything is okay, but how do we transition? Be because you have to be their strength. Yes, you have to. You cannot start saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, how do I? How, how do I? You cannot even afford to be confused. They'll freak out. They'll freak out. And when they hear your voice, it also gives them a form of comfort. Mm. When they hear the voice also of a father, it also gives them a form of comfort. <laughs> Le, uh, all right. Um, yes. Let's move away from, 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 from that family life. Yes. Let's get to that other life that you, you've just mentioned. Yes. You are at work. Yes. Let's get to, to, to that aspect. Um, yes. uh, how is it being a nurse yes. and uh, the challenges you faced as a woman yes. uh, in, in, the, in, in the medical industry? Okay. Medical field, yes. Ram, I want to say that Elizabeth has transitioned mm -hmm has metamorphosized over the years mm -hmm. as she also continues to realize her potential. Uh-huh. You're learning yourself. Yes, each and every day. So, yes, I am a nurse by profession, mm -hmm. but currently mm -hmm. I now am a healthcare business development specialist. Wow. Big wow. name. Uh -huh. Ram, I can tell you, at no point did I ever think anything mathematical in my life would be appearing when I remember my grades in... Primary and secondary. <laughs> I hope my son has not had that line. Right? I, I hope you're not, you're not telling him. Why are you telling him that you're number one? <laughs> <laughs> number one. 
no, no, no. <laughs> that one, no. You just talk about what was uh, visible then, uh, yes. Uh, so with that, I, my, um, just to appreciate my journey, mm-hmm. I started off as, an, as a nurse. I have served in a children's home. I have served in a district hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be specific, Isiolo District Hospital. So I know what it means to work in also resource limited settings. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. So from there, I transitioned and came to Nairobi. Right? Mm. And when I came to Nairobi, I joined Eastern Dinary AIDS Relief Program as a program nurse. So Eastern Dinary was, or start, rather, is still in the heart of Nairobi, mm. Islando. Kuruma, mm. Badogo. Mm-hmm. So, of course, for me, Kidogo, it was a culture shock, right? Mm-hmm. Because now I had you know, to know Isiolo how to... Now. Yeah, you had to know like <laughs> Gota, Niaje, eh? The you know, Sheng. Yeah, the Sheng. And now we have a new Sheng. Yeah. You, you, you've heard of it. I'm telling you, I was just hearing one, two, and I was like, do we need another dictionary or something? <laughs> I don't know. So, with uh-huh. that, yeah, the transition was beautiful because I must say that job also made me a lot who I am today. Because yeah. it had a lot of uh, interaction with uh, patients who were affected with HIV mm. or even people who wanted to come and get treatment. So uh-huh. you find that that conversation becomes different. And difficult. Let me tell you, Ram, the first time that after my, I was shown by the super- supervisor what to do. Mm. And now she told me now, get in, now see the patients. So here comes a couple, father, mother, two small children. Mm. And now after the, the, the pre-counseling and everything, and then you run the test and you realize, whoop, all the tests are what we call reactive. Ram, as they cried, I cried the first day. When you, when you say reactive? Yes. In, what, what it do means mean? now the test turns to positive. Meaning now a yeah. whole family is it's HIV positive. positive. Mother, father, and now especially the children, because they were very young. For below two years. Now you're trying to find out how you're going to relay this information. Now to this them. part even, what happens, I now moved out from the healthcare work and now became a mother and I'm thinking, what is all this? So they cried and I cried. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm <laughs> So luckily, huh? the supervisor somewhere came in and took over the session uh. and I cried and turned pink and then later on she told me, you have to define the difference between empathy and sympathy. Wow. So, Wow. As you go into that room, because you're going back there again. He said you go back I will, again. I was not given an offer, I tell you. But those words were powerful. Mm-hmm. Sympathy, empathy, empathy. Because if we are going to get solutions for humanity, mm-hmm. you must feel, but you also must be able to act in a way to assist on the same. So it was a learning experience. It was a learning experience. And, 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 and you are also transforming yourself yes. and growing. Yes. And from there, actually, I now learned how to do the health talks and do them in what you call simplified ways without using jargon. From there, I was there for five years. Then I moved to Nairobi Women's Hospital, mm-hmm. where I now served as a, a, as a nurse supervisor. Mm-hmm. I worked during the night duty. Remember, the children are still young, right? Yeah. And uh, with that... And, and they were all before, below five? All of them were below five. Yeah. Yeah, they're all below five and I went in to night duty. And so you can imagine, I really thank God because I also had a very good nanny who was able to also assist to step hmm. in, right? Very important. Very important. So support system, I must say, must be there mm-hmm. on the same. Yes, so I have from Nairobi Women's and now at Nairobi Women's, after like about three years is when I realized a lot of the work I was doing was reaching out to the community through Health Healthcare. talks. Mm-hmm. So whenever there'd be a health talk, I'd be told, Elizabeth, facilitate this. <coughs> if there's a medical camp, facilitate this. Then I realized, wait a minute, I think where God has placed me to be is outside there. Not in an office or in a hospital. It's because, to go out to the community. Yes, because those who come inside, at least they know there's an option. But outside there, that's where the work is. Mm-hmm. There's fear, there's misconception, and there's so much to be done. So that's how I now transition to what you call client relations officer of the hospital. Uh-huh, so with uh-huh. that, there was a bit of transition also going on in terms of rearranging the department. Mm. And me, I thought it was just about talking to, to patients and this and that. Mm. Then realize later, oh, oh, for whatever you do, you must plan. You must study. 
the needs of the people. Now, now, how was it now? Because you're transitioning from from yes. from one area to a yes. different area. Yes. Still healthcare. Yes. But now you are you are offering healthcare solutions to the community. To the community. How was it going out there? The field. It's, it's like a whole ministry. <laughs> Let me tell you, Bonaram. And it was a difficult one, and especially we must agree that healthcare is two way. There are those mm. who will be very happy with you. They mm. even name babies after you, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Exactly. Did people? Yes. I mean, if you go and you deliver a mother, and she'll be like, "Ata kama kijana yangu niki, u niki nita muita Elizabeth." You're like, "Okay, let's just change this, right?" But you uh -huh. see, there's also the flip side because of service industry. There are also people who will have gone through a lot of things. Mm. They have loss of loved ones. Mm -hmm. They have maybe have to go into litigation cases, and now Ram. That's where I think God gave me the calling, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. To go in and see how, because these things will never stop. Yeah. But how do we mitigate these issues? Giving it a human face, giving it a solution, mm -hmm. giving the community confidence mm -hmm. that they can come back and get the service and give you feedback. How was their response? My goodness. Coming back to you. Let me tell you, Ram, the first one year was tough. I think I had ulcers for a very long time. The because, first one year. Oh, you will. Trying you, to reach was, out to it them. Was, it was tough because you'll go in and you're like, Mr. Ram, my name is so and so. And then they're like, Nataka nini? Ulifanya, ukasema, mukafanya. You know that? <laughs> so, you know, it's like you, you, you go on behalf of the organization and you're like, and you know, you have to withhold it. You have to withhold the brand. <laughs> you have to face. There's an image you need to be There's an image, yes. But let me tell you, Ram, I'm a believer that when you go in, with a purpose. Mm. There's a way God just comes in and he helps things work out. Because mm -hmm. Mara Kwanza, you'll have that lashing. But later on, God just brings about some, some calmness, some discussion, and somehow you're able to avert some issues. So now that became the, has been the way of my life. Mm -hmm. And from there, I now transitioned uh, further. Just to show you that um, this docket of healthcare is a very new one in the healthcare space in Kenya. Business mm -hmm. development in healthcare. Mm. Remember, this is not where you're going to go and say, unakohoa, kuja. Uh -uh. The approach is totally different. It's business oriented. It is not even business. What it is, is it? relationship oriented. Wow. Right? Uh -huh. And that is where now I envision that even I and our peers in the industry mm. can go into relationship harness more the relations with the people and get to know their needs for their solutions so with that i transition now to the mp Shah hospital mm -hmm. which was starting off the docket and once again i remember when i got that the, the, that job i was like whoa I think this is too big for me guys can <laughs> i can i really manage this you know <laughs> and um there's something that tells you that, I think there's this line that, uh, that says that if you want to test a very good sailor, take them to the tough seas, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, we as women also, we have to learn to, to, to remove fear from the equation because fear is so loud and courage is very silent. Mm, mm. So that was a process and I said, you know what, let's try and see how it wow. is. So with that, it's about going into a new font, creating a team. Remember also they're looking at you like, which direction are we going to? Yeah. So once again, you have to give that font of like, I think we're going like this, but let's do this together. So the aspect of being able to work with a team, set a, a department up together, and above all, actualize whatever is planned, right? Mm -hmm. Was quite something, but we thank God it was it was workable. And I, I, I love your journey because uh, you've 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 gone through a whole. You you mentioned it as a metamorphosis yes it is and, and 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 i love that it is a process for you yes and a learning experience yes. as you are living a mark yes but i'm aware that you are also a member of uh, uh saint john's uh, ambulance national council yes yes of course, I am. Uh, you play yes. an advisory role there yes. tell us about that okay so uh saint john's has been around for so many years mm -hmm. and important to note is that in africa mm -hmm. There are only two what you call priors, mm. Kenya and South Africa. What do you mean when you say priors? Priors is like St. John's offices. Let me just try and simplify it. Yes. And those two are the most active in Africa. Mm -hmm. So you see where that keeps us as Kenya. The whole continent. Africa. Two 
are the most visible or rather Kenya they are present in South, South Africa. Africa. That's where we are at. So with that, we all know that with St. John's, they mostly come in to offer rapid response. Yes. They offer trainings. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, I actually got this um, invite through a good friend, mm. the current CEO, mm. Harun Gekera, who is also a Rotarian. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what? St. John's want to set up a Kajiado chapter. Mm. And I want you to join the team. And I was like, why not? So about three, four years ago, a small team, we used to meet somewhere in Kajiado. And uh, by <coughs> that time, we were trying to see how can we create a framework because this would have been the first devolved section mm. of St. John down mm. to the county yeah, as yeah. we pilot mm. and see how it can go down to other areas. Mm -hmm. And so with that, after a few meetings, then COVID happened. But still you could see a lot was happening with St. John's in terms of response, especially during the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So once again, we came back again now and now was to set up a national council. So once again, I moved from there to the National Council, where we now are, we offer, we work mostly on advisory, supporting the teams on the ground. Mm -hmm. So with that, we are also setting up frameworks of seeing how can we empower them in terms of leadership. Mm -hmm. Remember, a volunteer also wears off. Do we ever take time to see what their needs are? Something mm -hmm. very interesting that we actually have also set up mm -hmm. and are in the process of launching is the St. John's Ambulance Women Chapter which we had a meeting last week, mm. and it's more or less to set up a framework to see how can we support these young ladies, right? Mm. The same thing we're just discussing today, because being a volunteer and a woman is a totally different thing. So with that, once we set up that and are able to launch, we'll be able to set up um, a, a platform where for you, young lady with a small child, and maybe you want to go and give um, a service out to the community, that you'll not be stranded. Mm. Maybe we can have something like a daycare center where you can have the baby taken care of as you serve. So those are, that's just a few of what we are looking wow, at. Wow, right? wow, wow, wow. And, so, and, yes. and, and, and I, I love it because you mentioned uh, uh, COVID. Yes. And there's something that uh, you got during this COVID uh, period. Yes. Or, or, uh, or during the COVID-19. Yes. Uh, you are selected to uh, by, by the Geneva Learning Foundation. Yes. During the COVID nineteen pandemic, uh, to to be the what selected select county count, county, county lead. lead yes county, county lead. lead yes um uh, uh, tell us a bit more about about that just within a short period of time okay, okay. Uh, what was that all about yes. and also you are you are a nominee at the Tolberg S N F Allison uh, Global Award last year yes. Wow, this is surely the strength <laughs> of the woman. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a bit Thank more you. about these two issues. Okay. Mm. So uh, one thing that happened um, during the COVID-19, there was a serious decrease of immunization yes. for our babies and also for even the mothers coming to the clinic. And it's because there was fear of getting to the health facilities because of now the big pandemic. Everyone knew you can only go to hospital if it's really, really necessary. Okay. So with that, that having been picked up in a, um, in most, uh, in a global aspect, so a framework was set up as healthcare workers. Mm. What can we do to encourage our fellow healthcare providers okay. so that they can be able to come up with innovative ways of being able to reach out to mothers to bring their children to the facilities for immunizations. I can tell you babies were being born and they were staying for almost nine months without vaccine. Mm. Fear. And you miss out. And, 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 and uh, you were the forefront mm -hmm. and therefore you got recognized for uh, championing for these women and, uh, and, and of course within, uh, for them to get these healthcare uh, 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 consultations. So with that what happened, each and every country was mm. setting up a group of members. Yes. So there were about 97 countries and we'd actually meet virtually every week, Ram. Mm. And it was in such a way that where we would have, like for my cluster, I had my colleagues from all over, Garissa, Moyale, name it, all over Kenya, where we would even be able to advise each other, like this is what is happening. This area, I don't even have anything. This area, maybe the human resource is scared. Mm -hmm. Pertinent issues mm -hmm. that were really raised at that time. Mm -hmm. So those discussions that we were handling Mm. in that at that font we were able right. now to put them together every right. week 
right. and get now the global perspective. Mm -hmm. You'll be shocked, Ram. I'm telling you, Kenya. Kenya, we are doing amazing things. Wow. So now when they decided now that we need to have a lead uh -huh. for each country, mm -hmm. then I saw my name. <laughs> so, um, you're like my goodness how did this <laughs> so, yeah but the uh, rest is history the rest is history yes um because of the interest of time i, yes. I want us to wrap it up and yes. um mm -hmm. we are talking about the strength of a woman your yes. strength and yes. and it's coming out so clearly um, i would like you to speak to a woman watching you today yes. as of course you give your parting shot um, what would be uh, your parting shot as uh, we bring this to a close just within uh, 30 seconds you can talk to somebody that's your camera my dear sister out there, do not peg your life on the past. Let's look at head. Let us uh, be able to create support systems that will work with us. And if you fall down once, twice, thrice, arise. Arise because the strength is inside you. When you believe in yourself, and above all, have reverence to God great things are bound to happen. Wow. So women, all women up there, out there, make sure we are holding the backs of each and every woman, young or old, and we shall make this world a better place. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. It, 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 it's a pleasure. I love how you always bring out the fear of God. Thank you. Uh, and I, I always believe that a woman who fears God is always a pillar wherever she goes. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah, I wish you the best. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Uh, and of course, I'm looking forward to us having more of these conversations. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah? Bring, bring an inspiration to the community. And I, and, and I hope those who are in the community are watching today. And yes, of yes. course, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> we shall share right. the links definitely. Thank Not you so see. much for coming. Okay. And of course, that's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Wamwea. Uh, he, she is a, a healthcare business development specialist joining us on strength of a woman. That brings us to the end of this conversation, but we still have more coming up your way in a bit. We're taking a short break. My name is Ram Aguko. It has been a pleasure. This is Why in the Morning. <laughs>